Okay, so our next section is the fingerprint analysis. And what we've got in front of us is a print taken um, on each slide. Over here is our six suspects. We have two prints taken from the cabin, one from the tire iron, and one from the victim. So what we'll be doing here is we'll be using this little applicator that is a magnet. And we're using magnetic powder to swab each of the slides to extract a print. Then we will be using the sticky tape to remove the print with the powder and then we'll apply it to a piece of white paper and have it marked for comparison. Okay, so here we have a magnetic latent print powder and a little magnetic applicator. So what we've got is we've actually got a magnet inside that plastic little tube. What I'm going to do, just open this up, show you how to extract the powder. So with the magnet inside, we dab it in there like so, and then we actually acquire all of that powder. Now, best thing to do is to try and reduce that powder just a little bit. Don't want it all there, too much of it. And then it's ready to apply to our, our slide. First print is Chris Cunningham. We're just going to very, very lightly brush that over the top of the slide. Trying not to make too much contact with it. So you only want a very faint amount of powder to come off. There's our print. I'll extract it with some tape and we'll apply it to some paper. Right, here are all of the swabbed slides and uh, prints are there for you all to see. Um, it's actually evident to me that it's much, much easier for you to compare those slides than for me to extract um, the slides and, and just line them up using a sticky tape. That, that would be a forensic technique that would take place though, so say you had a, an actual surface in, in on a crime scene, say from a window or a wall or a, a hard piece of hard surface, um, it would, obviously you're not going to be able to just chop chop out that print and um, and bring it back to the lab. So in in a in a lab scenario, they would extract that that print from the surface as, as well as they could. Uh, but for all intensive purposes today, I'm going to leave you with each of these prints as you see. I'll leave you to decide which of the one, two, three, four, five, six suspects um, matches any of the prints that you see in print one, two from the cabin, a tire iron, and the victim as well. So the victim is obviously another one you need to compare from these three, um, and also the six suspects. Um, feel free to mark obviously the direction in which the, um, the whirls in the print travel will give you an idea of which ones are more similar than not. Uh, feel free to have a look, mark them down and come up with a conclusion of what you think is the most accurate. Okay, so for our final analysis, uh, we have the tire impression evidence marked with the suspects um, of a car that was present at the crime scene. I'll leave you guys to have a look at that, analyze, and mark which one you think is most accurate.